everybody, it's Randy with Carkeology, and today is auction day, and we're about an hour away from the closing of the auction of the three items that I have going up at Gooding & Company. Uh, there's the Myers Manx, and then the two vintage arcade games. And so this video, I'm going to kind of document the process of watching all of this come to a close. I'm nervous as a cat. I'm really excited. I want to see what happens here. Uh, so follow along. Let's do this. So in the auction, uh, the three items I have are actually right towards the start of the auction. Uh, and it was kind of nice of them to put them all together so I can watch it all happen uh, progressively here. So the uh, 41 uh, Mutoscope drive mobile, it ends in 56 minutes. Current bid is 11.50. Uh, the Mutoscope um, sit down uh, drive test is at 1650 and it has just over an hour. And then the Myers Makes is currently at 31,000, so it made it within their estimate, um, but we still have a little over an hour to go. Oh, tick tock, tick tock. So now we're down to about 30 minutes left, less than 30 minutes on the. Uh, on the first item, no change in price. Same with the uh, second one, 31 minutes left. And we did get a little bump on the mix. Okay, so I'm a little concerned here. I'm looking at the first item that's gonna be closing here and it closes in five minutes and I've not seen this bid climb at all. So it makes me wonder if anybody's really watching you know, there's a long way to go here between 725 and their estimate of 2000. And you would think that uh, there would be some action here in the final minutes. But I'm really not seeing it. Uh, looking over here as well, I mean, 1400 on this. And it's got nine minutes left to go. Estimate at 3500. Well, the child's car is doing pretty good. Well, let's see where we're at here. Again, no change on either of the arcade games. We're down to the last 15 minutes on that, or 16 minutes. Looks like we're 20 minutes away here. Dune buggy, no change. I'm getting nervous. What's going to happen? Okay. Okay, now, two-minute warning on the, on the first item in auction here. The American Retro 500 pedal car, 725. It has not changed. It's been at this price for days, if I recall. Let's reload the page, see if that does anything there. Minute 38 seconds. I mean, not seeing action on this item here in the final minute has me sweating bullets. I mean, if nobody's watching and nobody cares about these items, well, then the bids aren't going to go up in the final minutes. And that's got me pretty haired out. I mean, I'm seeing no change at all in the prices on the arcade games. We're down to 13 minutes here. There's a little bit of a jump on the Myers Banks up to 34000 But uh, we're down to the final minute here, and I'm not seeing any jump. Let's see if we get anything here. Still at 725. Come on. The dogs are excited. I'm excited. What's going to happen here? Win, lose, draw. Where are we at? Okay. 40 seconds. 725. I'll reload the page too just to make sure that we're getting up to date prices on here. 30 seconds left. Nothing. No changes on my stuff. All right. The countdown. Countdown, countdown. All right. Come on. So, am I going to get in there on the last 10 seconds? Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So no up on there, no bids at the end. That really kind of sucks. It's all right. 
Now we're getting down to the wire on the rest of the stuff. And it's interesting in the bid thing, once it's sold, then it's gone off of there. Um, so we're going to have to, uh, uh, have to watch that real carefully as the other items close. All right. A little more than 10 minutes left. Uh, come on, people, get online. Make this happen. I'm sitting here watching this and my hands are sweaty. I mean, it's not my first time through the auction game, but I, the nerves are here, man. You don't know what your fate's going to be. When you price something and you put it out there, well, then you're in total control over what it sells for. You can say yes or you can say no. But with the auction, especially a no reserve auction, your fate is in somebody else's hands. You just got to sit back and watch and hope and pray that the outcome is good. And it's really freaking me out. Okay, so I'm starting to see a little bit of action here on the Jag D-Type. Uh, child's car, which is a really cool piece. So we're down to the final minute on that. And it did jump up here from 18.5, I think it was, to 20,500. So somebody's paying attention here. I just wonder if it's going to go up here in the last minute. I'm like really, 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 really bummed that I'm not seeing any climb in numbers on the arcade games here. This is a losing proposition for me if these things don't go up. And, uh, and darn it, they are such fantastic, amazing, cool pieces. They really should be kicking tail right now. But I'm not seeing anything. Buggy here, we're at 36,000. I would sure just love to see that go up higher. But uh, there has been some play here in the last couple minutes. So that's that's a good sign. And it's, we'll see. There's a minute, 24 seconds left. How much time was left on the pinball machine before it blew up? Well, it, it blew up when things started going really nuts. It was like there were some bidders at the end, and so they kept on adding minutes onto it. Right. So I yeah, forget so when the party changed. started, but obviously it finished in a real crazy spot. And I'm not seeing that here, and it's really bumming me out. So 59 seconds, we'll see. Yeah, there's always a chance. I just... I just hope somebody's paying attention, you know. So eight minutes left on the Manx. It's still at 36. And I don't know, 37. I'm reloading the page to make sure everything's staying up to date. Come on. Come on, somebody is going to totally steal these things. I can't believe it. That is blowing me away. Like, not in a good way. Post the video of it. The, uh... Spread the word. <laughs> I was a little too late. One second left. Fuck. Uh, all right. First one sucked. <laughs> Let's see, the second one's probably going to suck, too, if the first one sucked. But I am seeing the Manx going up a little bit. <sighs> oh, that totally sucks. I thought for sure that game, that was the very first arcade driving game that they ever made. I mean, that is, you can't get it more historic than that. And such a beautiful piece. <sighs> Damn, I would have paid that for it. In fact, I paid more than that for it. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. I knew the job was dangerous when I took it. We're uh, down two-minute warning on this game. The first game definitely sold short. Should have gone for a lot more than it did. Really a bit frustrated with that, but that's the way it goes. So let's see. All right. 38 grand. I want to see that jump up. I'm going to make a little money on the buggy. I know in the end I'm going to be a winner on all of it, but but still, you know, you go with your hunch. You hope you get something that's a real strong item. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. 17 seconds here. No play, no love. Oh, come on. 
Oh, well, it looks like we hit 40 on the Manx, though. That's a good start. Somebody's paying attention. But, damn it. 1650. <sighs> Lost my butt on that one. All right. Come on, little blue plastic baby. Be my saving craze. Three minutes left. Come on. I'm like really bummed on those games. Oh, we got 42 grand. That's a start. All right, get my mind on something positive. Those games, they sold super cheap. Somebody got a great deal on those. Super cool. Two minutes for 44,000. Now the party's starting. Come on, people. Let's see where we go. Right. 45. All right. I'm liking the way this is going here. 46. All right. Two minutes left. Let's see if we go to the details page on this and we can watch the auctions here. So it shows you the countdown up at the top. Current 46,000. The little buggy's doing good. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. The other dude's trying to find some things in his house that he can sell. <laughs> yeah, really, pull pull the change out of the uh, couch. Exactly. Now take your sip of coffee, get on here, and bid. So 46 grand. So will it beat their high estimate of 50 is the, my question here. Come on, come on. All right, getting down to the final minute. Now, if somebody places a bid within the final minute, then it'll add a little time onto the auction here. That way no one can swoop in and Yeah, get it so it's kind of, of an anti-sniping thing. All right, 46. All right, one more jump. I want to see a jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds. There's 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. So somebody, somebody added on here. So now it added on some time. So it just That's resets cool. back up to two minutes. Right, exactly. So, all right. So at least there's some play on here. It's not dead in the water like the arcade games were. That's uh, maybe this other dude was just being trying to be strategic, yeah. No, I mean, it's funny it's on this, I, um, it's like the fun of it is to wait to the last minute to bid, but um, you know, with the ability to, to do that anti snipe thing, it, it doesn't really pay to do that, I don't think. Well, but um, people still left it in their garb, okay. So, all right, we hit 50. Yay. <laughs> okay, so oh, we're, yeah, so we're up uh, up at high estimate, which is like really awesome. I mean, I certainly didn't expect this car to do what Mog did because that was a different car, and it was really a um, that car was historic time capsule thing where this is a restored car, and um, and it's different, but still, I mean that's. Pretty stellar. So now 51. All right. I'm feeling, feeling a lot better after the letdown of the games right now. This is all looking pretty good. All right. Can we get anything else in here? I mean, the one thing that's really exciting about this is seeing this kind of number on this buggy it, it's proven that these are 
really hot on the market. So 52. 52. And if you've got a genuine Myers Manx, you've got some value. I mean, these things up until, you know, a few years ago really didn't have much value to them. Buggies were always cheap. It's the way they were designed to be. But, um, you know, now with all the accolades that, uh, that Bruce has gotten for his creation, uh, and now his passing recently, um, you know, people are realizing what, uh, what an important car these were when it came to automotive design and, um, uh, and the real ones are highly prized, obviously. I mean, 52 grand for this one with a minute to go. Come on, come on. Okay. Are we topping out here or is somebody going to come in at the end? Forty-five seconds. Thirty-nine seconds. Oh, I'm gonna be happy when this is over because it's been a really stressful week waiting for these things to come up. And uh, and yeah. All right, get down to that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 52,000 bucks. Will you ever refresh right. it in a bit? I'll take it. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't refresh it, so somebody added on to it. I thought we were good. <laughs> Now we're even better. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. No. <laughs> like my computer son telling me how it works. Refresh the page, Dad. Okay, it's going up some more. 54. <laughs> and they did an amazing job with all the photos. I mean, just crazy amount of photos on it, which is cool. Um, and I like that they put the history and everything in there as well. You know, I think that really helps. Where are we here? All right. So there's some play here in the final seconds. It's like people want to wait until that very last second to click the button. As if it's going to help. I mean, it's kind of funny. It's there. For, well, I mean, it helped in your case. If you were an enemy bitter, then... Well, yeah. I mean, maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But, um, you know, when it adds on a little bit of time... I think people are there just for the excitement. They want to get in there and they want to have... Oh, it was yeah. a close battle for this car. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. I really think that's it. I know in the live auctions, that's a huge part of it. You know, the, the excitement, the way it builds in the room until that final minute. Uh, and then the battle back and forth and the tension and all of that. Exactly. I mean, That's I, what people are missing about auctions. Oh, about yeah. The cars, this is what people are missing. Yeah. But I, people are, are obviously spending money online, and, and that's cool. It's interesting to see how the pandemic has caused a, a shift in the auction game. You know, it's kind of had to. But, all right. Let's see it jump up to 70 now. <laughs> I like the way you think, boy. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. There it is. Lot is closed. Is that it? Right there. Sold 54,000 bucks. So, awesome. That doesn't suck at all. So the total with the buyer's commission is $59,400 for the Myers Manx. So there we go. The close of auction on uh, the arcade games and the, uh, the Myers Manx. And I'm totally stoked on the Myers Manx. I, my dream was that it would hit 50 and it went beyond that, which is really awesome. But I'm super bummed on the arcade games. I mean, uh, for this one to only sell for 1150 I mean that's an extremely historic game really really awesome piece 
and then let's see the next one here the that one for 1650 um I mean, that's that's a drag i mean overall this is a win and i've got to focus on that i uh, i'm really really thrilled with the results on the myers manx it sold for good money uh, and it proves to me that the Myers Manx uh, is a hot collectible today. Um, and it's also proved to me that I got really, 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 really freaking lucky with that pinball machine at the last auction. So I might not try arcade games again, but you can guarantee I'm going to start playing with more dune buggies. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed following along on this. Please let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on digging them up and driving them. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.